Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm continuing my build of my Voron 2.4 R2 Pro Plus. So let's go ahead and get started. So in today's segment of this video series, I'm working on the A and B drives and idlers. So I want to put those together on camera today, and hopefully I can get these all done. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. Now, this is going to be and is a very long video series for me. I'm doing chapter by chapter of the install guide for the Voron. And in my previous videos linked above the playlist, you can see each step I've gone through. So for the idlers, I think the first thing we need to do is let's just scroll through the instructions here. It looks like one of the first steps is I need to do some heated inserts and we can get that taken care of. And I'm just looking through this and we see those two inserts we have to do in two sections. As you can see, this is quite a long section, so I might wind up breaking this into two videos or maybe not. We'll see. I'm, I'm trying to to stick to around 30 minutes per video or 30 minutes, under 30 minutes per video. So let's just see what this takes. And I'm gonna start by getting out my parts. Now, looking at this screen, we have, since I'm using black and red, I have a black piece here and then a red piece. Looking at this, it looks like I'm going to have an A and B for this one. So let's go through my parts box and start pulling things out and we'll put this together. I want to take a minute to point out that there's an A drive and a B drive for these pieces. The reason why I'm pointing this out is the heat sets, the heat of inserts, should only go on the A drive. There's no equivalent holes looking at the directions. Let me switch over to that. So in the directions, it's just showing the heat set insert and these two holes here. And this again is the A drive. So there's no equivalent holes in the B side. The directions only show A. So I'm just going to put those threaded inserts in those two holes that I'm showing here on my desk. Let me go ahead and put those in and then I'll come back. I just want to point this out too. These holes go all the way through, so you need to be really, really careful in putting in those inserts. I've gotten the A side done. Now I'm going to look at these two pieces. Both of these should be oriented like this. And here's where those threaded inserts need to go. So let's put those in and I'll just come right back. Now, since I have those all installed, I'm just going to let them cool off and let's go back over to the directions and we'll look at the next step. So see if I sort of understand this and it looks like I'm going to need to pull out some different parts here. So I need an M5 bolt and then these bearings. So let, let's pull all those out and then I can sort of work on those and see if I can figure out what's what. This will be interesting to put together. Okay, yeah, so I created the dual view. So in the upper right hand corner, you'll see the directions. So I've inserted the nut through this piece. I'm just going to set this down. And next I need a spacer. So let's get a spacer. So I'm going to side here. Drop a spacer. Let me open up and then drop another spacer on here. Grab that together. And let's put this in. And so there's what it looks like. Go to the next page here. Now, before I move, one thing I forgot to do is put a nut in there. So let me find my M5 nuts. Okay, so I'm holding it like this. I'm going to slide this out. Of course, it looks like I need to hold this straight up and down. So let's remember that. Let me put this back in place. Then I'm going to slide this out very gently. Then I'm taking this piece. I want. Oh, wow. Okay, so my hands need to not shake while I'm doing this. So maybe, and I'm going to leave this in the video. Um, drinking a whole bunch of coffee. 
was not a good idea today. Let's see if I can. Ah. So this is, as you can see, a comedy of errors. So let's see if we can get this without messing all this up. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let's see. I'm gonna put this on. Sort of want to snap it together, and then I want this piece. It's gonna go on like this. Now, I'm going to gently pull this up. Slip this on. Then I want to go through the top. And of course, it all fell out again. So let me mess with this off camera because this might take a while one week later i'll be honest this actually took me a couple minutes to get those in um as you can see you don't want them too tight so i think i need to loosen this some because this needs to be able to be adjusted just loosen it a little bit and again i can always go back and tighten it now Next, we need a screw in here, switch over. So I need an M340 with an M3 washer. And that I'm pretty sure, if we look at these directions, is to allow us to do uh, some adjustments for probably belt tension. So let me pause and be right back. Now I'm looking at the instructions. I'm actually putting the screw in on the side with the boron symbol. So I'm just putting my washer on the screw. And then go through. And tighten that in. I'm just making that flush with the. Oh, now let's go. I'm just going to tighten this. It's really not getting super tight. But I'll just put that like that and we'll switch over to here. I'm going to look for, again, the Voron symbol. And I'm just going to push this piece down a little bit. And so we have that in. Looks correct. Now I'm checking bearings here, everything's turning. I'm sure, again, these screws are probably to do adjustments here for belt tightening. So pretty cool stuff. Let's go to the next step and take a good look at that. But for the next step, what it really wants me to do is take a look at what I've just put together and then compare to the diagram. So let me hold this up to the camera and we'll take a look here. So I'm holding this piece up. And so I'm trying to orient this like the camera screw. Bearing. There's a large hole up here, a smaller hole down in here. That all looks right. This is probably going to be the opposite for the other side. So screw, bearings, large hole, small hole. Everything looks correct. So we're just going to go down and keep following through with the instructions. It looks like I jumped ahead of myself, so I actually have done both, did both sides, which is okay. Let's look at this and just make sure that I've oriented everything correctly. I'm just going to compare my piece to the drawing, screw at the bottom, hex nut, large hole, small hole. That's looking correct. Now I'm hoping I put all those pieces together. So let me keep going down. That's the B idler. For this next step, I'm using the A idler. A is the one with the key to the inserts right here and here. It looks like I'm just putting a butt head uh, M530 right in here.
I'll just slip those in there then keep going down looks like I actually want this bottom bit off well, I just want this just like this and this is another one where I'm doing shims and bearings let me get those parts back out and we can take a look at how those need to fit together I'm going to start on the left screw here so right here and I want to do one of my shims. So I'm going to drop a shim here. And next, I need one bearing combo. I just need that, and then that, and then drop another M5 on top here. Now, for this side, for the right side, I'm going to drop a shim. I need a shim down there. I need a bearing combo. And then it looks like I need two shims. So I'm going to do two of these M5 washers. It's one. Two. I need another bearing combo. And then another shim. Now, let me turn this on its side so you can sort of see this. So you can see on left side, it's just what we've already done. Shim, bearing, combo, shim. Uh, right side, we have shim, bearing, combo, two shims, bearing, combo, shim. And we're just going to take this piece and slide it down. Now, these are being tightened directly into the plastic. So just need to be aware of that. And we don't want to over tighten these. So we're just, it's going to bite into the plastic. Now, first we need to get a bit that actually fits. Ah, I pulled it out already, but just didn't click it in. So that's biting into the plastic. I'm not going too tight. These still spin, so that's good. And then I'm just going to tighten this one in. I'm barely tightening it. And as you can see, the screws actually bite into the plastic here on the bottom. These are spinning. That looks good. Let's put this aside. And we'll go to the next step. Now, for this next step, we're going to put the motor in to our A side. Looks like we need a G2 20 tooth pulley. We need our measuring tool, which I have here somewhere, and then our motor. Let me go get the motors and everything put aside and then we'll start work. So here's how I'm gonna do this. I just wanna make sure my, that works. So what I'm gonna do is let me, Put this grub screw on the end here of my. I'm just going to dip that in my thread locker. And I'm going to barely start this. I'm looking through the hole here. And I just want to barely see it. I want to go all the way out. Let's get the other side. Dip it in the thread locker. Oops, I don't want to go all the way through. Now, here is my motor. I'm just going to orient it this way. Turning this, uh, so the flat part's facing me. 
I want at least one screw on the flat part. Now I have my measuring tool, here's A. I'm just going to insert this right here. As you can see, oops, there's how the measuring tool sort of holding it in place. Screw, as I said, is on the flat part. I'm going to tighten this in. I'm just going to come around the other side. Tighten that as well. So let's take our measuring tool. That's correct. So now we have that. So this is going to be our A motor. And let's see how we need to insert this. Okay, so I'm going to orient the motor like this. I want the connection pointed to the left, and the connection needs to be opposite this textured part right here. Now, I'm going to take these M330s and use those to screw this in. This probably actually needs to be tight. I'm not going to tighten it too much till I have at least two screws in. I might have to slide this around a little bit till it slots in the holes. And for a last step here on this, we'll have to check our work. Now, what I'm going to do is turn this around. And what I'm checking is to see if this bearing is lined up with the toothed gear. And that's just like it is in the diagram, that looks correct to me. So this piece is looking really good. Let's put the A drive aside, and then I'm sure we're going to look at the B drive. So I've my button hand M530s, and I'm just flipping those right here. This on the B drive, putting those in those holes. And then I'm sure, I'm just going to flip this over. And we need to, again, work on the bearings. And we'll start on the left side first. And let me find what I did with M5. Oh, there they are. So we're going to start with this one first. Let me arrange this a little bit better. So this is going to be a double bearing. So I want to start with a M5 shim. Then a bearing combo, two shims, doing two shims here, another bearing combo, and then a shim. Now these are all going to be part of the belt routing. And now we're going to do the right-hand side. So we're going to do a shim. And got to be able to get this out. So we're doing a shim. Oops, I actually need to get that inserted correctly. So shim, bearing combo. And then a shim. Now we'll get this shim out of this bag. If stop fat fingering this. Now I'm just going to put this piece on top here. And I'm just rolling that over. And then I need to go ahead and screw these in. Now just remember these are going into the plastic. So we want them tight. But I just do them where they're barely in there. Basically, so it gets difficult to turn. There we go. Let's take a look at those. And orient this like our drawing, so it's oriented like this. 
that's correct. Everything's lining up. Looking at my shims all look good. So now this one, again, let's get our motor set up and put this aside. So we have our motor. The indentation is now connection is pointing to the right. And let's get our driver set up. I'm just going to dip this in my thread locker and then start. That in the hole. Let's get the other side. You've got to be careful with these grub screws because you can drop them real easy, which I did off camera. And I'm just getting these. I don't want to say started all the way through, but enough where they're almost right there. So I'm now turning this so the flat part's facing me. One of the screws is going to hit the flat part. Then I'm taking my measuring tool. And right here is the bean up. So I'm just going to slide this down. And Get this into the B nub. Whoop. And we're going to make a change here. This actually needs to be upside down. So the grub screws need to be towards the top. I'm trying to figure out why this didn't fit. And I'll turn this on the side so you can see it. You can see the orientation there. My measuring tool. I'm just making sure that that grub screw is still on the flat part of the shaft. Let me turn this down so I can actually get to it. And I'm just going to tighten on that flat part first. And I'm circling around and doing the other grub screw. Just making sure those nice and tight. Let's check one last time. So that appears to be correct. So the B slot here is just fitting in. So let's set this down and we'll need to put the motor together. Now I threw away my thread locker to give myself some more room. So now this textured part here needs to be away from the motor connection. I'm just going to slip this down here. And then I have my M330s. And I'm going to use those to screw the motor in. Now on that first screw, I'm not going to go too tight. And I can tell it grabbed. And let me so right here. I just want to get two of these started. That's good. Now I'll tighten this up. I have that tight. Now I want to do a visual inspection. And what I'm checking is to make sure those gears are even with this bearing right here. And that looks pretty good. So we have that. Just make sure everything turns. So we have all that together. So it looks like we've come to the end of this section today. And as I've said in the past, I'm doing trying to do a chapter at a time. So we've gotten through and we've done the A and B drives and idlers and have those all put together. So we're just going to put those aside. And then my next video, I'll work on putting together the gantry. So now we'll actually start seeing the printer come together. And we're getting to the point now where we're going to start seeing some, some of the awesomeness here. So I can't wait. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks. Have a good day. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15 minute help session with me and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.